Hello there and welcome to Cowley's Garden. Today is the 12th of April. It's a beautiful fresh spring day here today in the northeast of Ireland. Today we're in my backyard patio garden. And in today's video I'm going to share with you how to transplant rooted cuttings. So in front of me here as you go into the patio garden you can see I have this mound of muck here where I've created a landscape bed for all my cuttings and as you can see everything is growing beautifully. So in front of me here we have the sprinter boxwood which started out as a tiny cutting and over a couple of weeks it started to grow and grow and grow. So obviously I'm going to be leaving this one here, it's quite happy. We've got other native Irish trees such as the weeping willow, we have some laurel, we have dianthus. And below here then we've got all these different cuttings that I've put in here over the years. So today for this video I'm going to be transplanting some hebes that have been taken as cuttings from the parent plant. So as you can see here, it's quite sturdy, which is a good indication that it has roots. So I'm going to move it now to its final spot in the garden and let it grow and thrive in the garden. So I can feel that this is heavily rooted. You can see all those beautiful roots here. I'm just going to give you an example of how the hebes look once they're in full bloom. So coming over here onto this side, which is where I took a cutting from the hebe plant. We've got these beautiful clusters of flowers. So eventually this will grow into a massive shrub in the garden, which is what I want. And it will fill in the landscape garden patch. So now I'm going to decide where to plant my hebes. So coming over to this side of the garden, I've decided that I'm going to plant my hebe in here. I do have a great variety of Irish trees, shrubs, wildflowers and ground covers. Okay, so bearing in mind, you have to allow enough room for the plant to grow. So let's see. I'm thinking somewhere here, in between the oxide daisies and the chamomile. So just using my little fork here, I'm going to plant it in between these two um, because these will stay relatively low anyways as a ground cover. So. So you can see I've got lots of rocks in this area, um, so there'll be plenty of drainage for my hebes to grow. Okay, so just going to remove some of the rocks. Um, then I'm just going to backfill it with the native soil, compost and bark. So eventually this will grow into a huge shrub in the garden bed. See all the buds on the beautiful Gilder Rose right there. The sea asters are still blooming beautifully. Thank you. 
Thanks very much for watching and God bless.